What's up guys this is Bharat here welcome back to another video on tech matrix today we are going to learn the simple and easy way on how to root your OnePlus 2 let's get to it You'll need the stock USB Type-C cable and all the files from the description loaded on a Windows PC, preferably a Windows 7 and above version. Just pause here and check the links. If there are any updates, I'll leave them over there. Next, connect your phone to the PC and take a full backup of all the media and all the necessary files to your PC. Ensure that you have at least 50 to 60 percent battery left and go into Settings and About Phone and click on Build Number seven times until you. Enable developer options. Go into developer options and click on OEM unlocking. Input your password if you have any and click on enable. And then also enable advanced reboot and USB debugging like here. Now extract the toolbox to the desktop of your PC and open up the folder like this. There will be a, a runme.bat file. Right click on that and run as administrator and you will get this pop up. Now is the good time to install the drivers by pressing 1 or it will be there in the CD drive when you connect your phone to the PC. Just ensure you have all the drivers installed before proceeding further. To confirm whether all the drivers are installed, when your phone is in normal board, go into the same folder, shift and right click and open up a command window there and type in ADB devices. There will be a list of devices. If your device is found, then the drivers of ADB is installed. Next, reboot your phone into bootloader or fast boot mode like this and once it's there, in the same command prompt type in fast boot devices and you will have the same device id here if it's not showing up reinstall your drivers and figure out what is the problem i'll leave some links in the description for you to check if you want to check your bootloader status just type in 2 over here and wait for the device to come back with some data if it says false across it means your bootloader is not unlocked the phone might boot back to normal so just go back to bootloader or fast boot mode and press 3 once you press 3 and click enter your phone will probably have a command it will ask you to erase click on yes and move forward so guys once you do this your phone will come back to stock there will probably be no data if it is there lucky you and complete the setup once you complete the setup go back to settings while you're doing this ensure that you copy the super su file that i'm going to leave in the description to the root of your phone about phone click on the build number seven times and go back to developer options and enable advanced reboot and usb debugging again and after this switch to bootloader or fast boot mode again and on your pc go to the same prompt and click six number six and click enter once you do this most probably you will get an ok prompt and your phone will go back to twerp if you don't just go back to the same folder and open up the command prompt like how i showed you earlier by pressing shift and right click and copy the twerp image name and use the fast boot flash recovery space the recovery name the image name and once you send it it will say writing recovery ok once you have this ok just on your phone press and hold power and volume down button simultaneously till you see the logo and let it go once you let it go at this point it will boot back to twerp like this so click on install once you get the twerp click on install go down and locate the super su file that you just copied earlier update super su and click that and swipe to confirm flash yes and that's about it you have rooted your phone currently so click on reboot system now and once you click on reboot system it will ask swipe to disable yes you have to disable the stock recovery you need the two of recovery click on that and Post that it will reboot back to normal and check the super su status here so that's it guys you have a rooted phone now and to be safe we'll take some backups first is the efs backup i'll leave the links in the description you can download it from play store so just back up these three highlighted options and click on download and it'll just take some time so be patient once you're done the partition that it will be is in the root folder so just 
take the backup to your PC and keep it safe. And then boot into recovery and go to two up and take a full Android backup like how I'm showing you. Click on backup and swipe for complete backup. And this will be stored in the root folder which says two up and copy the TWRP folder from your root to your PC and you will have pretty much everything from there on. So that's it guys for this video. If I helped you root your phone safely, click that like button and subscribe. I'm coming up with a lot more. This is Bharat here signing off.